Football Fan TV. We are back for week four, our uh, Premier League show. We almost didn't get a video done this week. Uh, Paul went off the radar over the weekend. If you, if you want to explain yourself to the people. I wasn't a good time. I lost my phone <laughs> Friday night uh, oh, in a taxi in Liverpool. And then Saturday night, everything of course get beat 3 now. And then Sunday, I missed my flight. So, I'm um, trying to contact him to get content for you. Uh, but it all worked out well because I got to go on Toffee TV uh, and Ball Street as well on Monday. So I got to get get them in. Good experience with yeah. the boys, yeah. Brilliant. If you haven't seen it, check it out there. We we should we should definitely link that below anyway. So yeah, we, yeah we'll, we'll get we'll have them we'll have them link below for you. Also, want to give a shout out to the <coughs> Lawless family for taking me in on Sunday night on short notice. Thank Thanks you very much, John, Alexander, Kath. No worries, so we'll get into it. Uh, I suppose we start with the big one, the early kickoff, which was Man City and Liverpool. Yeah, I enjoyed that. <laughs> I say you did, yeah. Uh, City ran riot 5-0. I, I suppose we have to talk about the big factor of the game was the, the Mane red card. Thoughts? Yeah, I spoke about it on uh, Wall Street. It's one of them. If whoever gets to it first is going off, it's just fact yeah. that he kicks him. In, if he kicks him anywhere else in the body except for the head, I think he would have got yellow. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's yeah. just the fact that he kicked him in the face. It was unlucky. Yeah. He was always in the ball. He was going for the ball. Keeper came out, put his head down, stooped into it. Yeah, it. sure. I, um, I watched it in real time and I thought, uh, I thought it was harsh. I thought striker's momentum. You know, any striker's going to come in and Excellent follow it as well. Though. Yeah, and you can you can see, but the fact, yeah, you can see just the impact and what happened to Edison and. Like the letter of the law is the letter of the law. Like it's a it's a red card all day. So um anyway, uh City opened the score in Aguero twenty four minutes. Um Liverpool came out of the blocks, kind of Salah and Sane threatened early. They always seem to against bigger teams. They always seem to kind of come across very strong at the start. Um, it was the right guy turning things on its head. Absolutely, um, yeah. It was game over after that. It was a Bruyne that gave the ball in behind. It was a great ball. Yeah. And Aguero does what Aguero does best, and you know, rounds the keeper and slots it home, makes it look easy, and then breaks that record. Then uh, 124 goals. I think he's the only person on only first non, non-European, yeah, isn't he? To get to. There you go. We have stats for you. So we we did our research, lads. Um. Also, goals from Gabby Jesus. He scored. He got on the score sheet the uh, forty-five and fifty fifty-third minutes, and uh, Leroy Sane. Anyway, he uh, he wrapped up the score and two and fine goals. Top in thirty-four minutes on the field. Two goals. There you go. And, and uh, <laughs> I took him out of fantasy this week, so that's why he did that. It's uh, it's so typical. It's so typical. It's one of them, though, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, that that was the game. Anyway, um, yeah, obviously City deserved to win. Uh, Liver Liverpool have the security blanket of us ending off. So Liverpool through the tail. I think they were thinking more so. Uh, let's let's focus on the Champions League game. Mm. That's a bit. Yeah, which uh, so we'll just equalize it. <laughs> there you go. Um, so next one we next one we get into uh, Stoke. Man United, Man United away to Stoke. Uh, what's your thoughts about yeah, that? Yeah, I was watching that in the pub in Liverpool. It was, you know, you, you know, they weren't that convincing. And they looked very the flat offensively, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, they are still scoring goals. Uh, still scored two goals, do you know what I mean? Lukaku is still firing them in, but he's doing them against clubs that I wouldn't class as, you know, teams that would really test you. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how he actually does. Uh, he started off really, really well, but I'm looking forward to seeing what he actually does against bigger clubs. Um, Shuba Mountain was class. Uh, yeah. Skulls very well. Chupa Motain, aka the weekend. I have to say that that's a fantastic hairstyle. Um, yeah, no, he uh, he he looked lively anyway, and obviously De Gea made an absolutely world class save. Like Stoke yeah. could have Stoke could have stole it. Um, great save, great Stoke save from Hesse. Yeah. So that was uh, anyway. Um, yeah, Marie, Mourinho came out and said United did did the most to win the game. I disagree. I think a, I think a draw was fair. Yeah, I think Stoke battled well, and uh, Stoke do what Stoke do best, and that's you know they make it difficult. Like look, they beat us, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but 
we bet him first time we've seen him. I think we played him at the right time though. They weren't settled or anything like well, that. Yeah, a lot I think of they the might new actually faces. do. Yeah, they might actually faces. do well this year. I would say top ten maybe. Yeah. For Stoke. Yeah, Mark Hughes seems to be building a decent squad anyway. So uh, Lukaku five goals and five. You yeah. can't argue with that. Yeah, he's banging them in. And uh, Jack Butland, I thought Jack Butland done well as well. So uh, we'll move on to Everton and Spurs, and I will let Paul take the round for this as he was at the game. What a shite. Spurs walked all over us. First 20 minutes, Everton were good, and they were linking up well, and they were pressing the ball. Then they just stopped. It was like they lost all their energy, and then came with that fluke. Yeah, cross shot. Yeah, but still, fantastic goal for them all the same, and then uh, not too long after our weak link at right back, Cuco Martina, uh, takes a wild swing at it. And then uh, I think it's Ben Davis gets a shot. And then the keeper saves it, rebounds to Ericsson, and he doesn't miss from there. No. So, you know, 2 uh, 0 going into the break. We were quite optimistic, like most of the fans in the ground were quite optimistic about uh, the second half. If we can get an early goal, get back into it. And then a minute or two in, uh, ball comes out. Harry Kane. The only Spurs player in the box against four Everton players. Uh, ball whipped in and Cooley finishes. Um, again, we just look flat. We look shit. Uh, don't look like scoring a goal. With no striker, like settled striker. Um, no shape to the team. He's just trying to fit in a lot of players. He kind of went. He, he kind of went a bit wild with the checkbook, didn't he? But he's buying all these number tens. He's buying class. He's buying Sigurdsson. He's buying. Um, who else did he get? Uh, to play there as well, uh, Rooney. Um, so he has them all yeah. playing in like this three across behind the strike, and then Sandro then as well. So he has them all playing in all these weird positions, and no one knows what they're playing. And they're all because they're all number tens. They're all running through the same spaces, and they're doing nothing uh, with the ball or anything like that. And they're not, you know, they're getting caught out. Uh, he needs to chop and change. He needs to rotate his squad. Um, some of the players I think will come good eventually. He brought on Calvert Lewin, who should have started. There's a big reliance on him. It looks like. He kind of there's a big there's a big uh, reliance on. Well, you didn't start him. Yeah, um, that's true. I believe you have a stat for me as well that I'm not gonna like. Uh, obviously the August course is over, so Harry Kane knows how to score again. Yeah, that took him only uh 169 games to score 100 goals, whereas it's a f- I think it was 12 games for you with Henri. 181, 181 to get 100. Oh yeah. Um, anyway. Moving on, so uh, yeah, two of them against us. So. Next game, next game, I suppose I'll talk about it. Uh, we had Arsenal come out three 0 winners against Bournemouth. Talk me through it, Philip. Uh, well, first thing, first thing I will say is when you play players in their positions rather than playing Bellerin at left wing back, look what happens. They play well in their positions. Um. I thought we set up. We were very good. Uh, Kalazanac, he's a monster going good forward. Player, he just yeah. loves. He just wants the ball and he just wants to get up. He put a great ball in. Uh, obviously, Welbeck, it kind of hit off his ear. Uh, it still went in the goal. Goal to goal. Only fact about uh, Welbeck. Oh, no. he's already got more goals this season than he had last season. There you go. I I actually I really I really like Welbeck on the left. I think uh, he gives us a complete different dynamic. He. When we don't have the ball, he's willing to do the tracking that maybe a Walcott won't do yeah. or an Ozil won't I do. I make him really high. Well, I wouldn't say top class, but he does. The when they were playing him through the middle, you could see, like, you're going to have to give Danny five chances before he gets you one, you know what I mean? But uh, he's a, he, he'll he work his socks off for you. Got two goals, and of course, we need to talk about the man, Lacazette. Return on investment already. I'm, I'm, I'm not jumping the gun. Uh, but his movement in and around the box is absolutely phenomenal. He's everywhere. And we haven't had a striker like that since Ian Wright, since Henri. Even though Henri liked to drift yeah, left. Coming in from the side. Do you know what I mean? But um, he took his goals. He was How many good. goals do you reckon he'll finish up on if he doesn't get injured and avoid, oh, like, avoid Jesus, it? you said it. You just said it. The injury order at Arsenal. Like, um, if you can avoid injury, how much are we talking? 25? I, I really think so. I really think so. I think he has the quality. Like, um, what about Sanchez? How do you get, how good do you players get? can play with good players. You know, I don't see how Lacazette being in the team is any sort of hindrance to him. No, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying, how do you think he's going to do? How Sanchez going to do personally? I believe Sanchez will 
like he, it's he just in his nature. Like he will work. He seems the type that will give the one hundred percent, even if he's not getting his his own way. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No. Definitely. Um. I think. I. I think he's committed. Like you know, what happened happened. He he could have left the club. Maybe Arsenal were wrong, possibly to keep a player who who was so set on leaving. Yeah. But I have a, like, there was there was a story about Sanchez. They told him to take the day off from training because he was he was doing too much and uh, they came into the workout room and he was running on the treadmill with a weighted vest like so I just think he has that bed into him he's just gonna work his socks off yeah so, um sure we'll see what happens uh but I don't think we'll be we shouldn't be judged off the bottom result we should be judged Chelsea next week basically so yeah same uh, uh, we were talking about in the preview show there you go uh, moving on so Chelsea versus Leicester um. Full game. Um, Morata. I believe we have another stat about Morata. Yeah, he has three headed goals in four games. You see, he, he learned to score with his feet too. And anyway. Yeah, that's what Hazard came up and said. He goes, he'd be world class if he starts finishing with his feet. <laughs> um, I think I think he's filling a void left by Costa. He yeah. does, and he looks a bit more, more mobile. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Exactly he's a bit of pace right, behind him. And yeah, he's more likeable. He's more likeable than Costa anyway. So. Handsome. Yeah. Um, so I suppose, and then obviously the penal was it a penal? You seen them giving? You can never because Vardy's always has a reputation. He he does like a dive, so he does like a Michael Phelps in the box. Yeah, it's just it's one of them. Uh, it can go either way. Like he can either be booked for diving, or he'll be getting given a penalty because he's 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 got the reputation for being a bit of a diver in the past. Um, I think that's what kind of went up, went against him there. Uh, as far as him as a player, I think he's yeah, I think he's quality. Yeah, I like I liked it. I, I I suppose he had his big move when you when he had the option to go to you guys, he never did it. So yeah, as you said, he used he used he you mu- he mugged us off basically. Yeah, but I can't really blame him. I, I would have done the same thing in his situation. Do you know what I mean? Uh, he was an idol at Leicester for that season alone. Do you know what I mean? True. As, as far as uh, Chelsea, anyway, they're. They they're performing like champions. They're, yeah. they're winning games, but not convincingly. But they're still winning them. Yeah, but that's yeah, but that's a sign of a good team. Like if you're not playing well, you're still getting the results. Can't they score the other goals? Uh. <laughs> the legend. Yeah, um, can't they? It was annoying. Like it was like a twenty yarder trickle, like slow motion roll past uh, Schmeichel. You have to think he might have done a bit better. He hasn't been performing well this season, uh, Kasper Schmeichel. You think, Either. yeah? Yeah, I don't think he's had a good start this season. He could turn it around. He seems like he has a strong mentality. He yeah, dropped well, down a couple of divisions to come back up and win the league, so that shows kind of same thing with Harry. Yeah, but we really love to see Kante in the score sheet anyway. Um, so I suppose we'll move on from that. Yeah, that's been part one of our Premier League show. Don't forget to check out...